Hi Gemini, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your love reading for the month of August 2022. This is for any Gemini looking for any guidance and messages in love. Remember if you don't resonate with this video, there will be other ones coming up for you soon. But please do take what resonates in this video and leave out the rest, okay? So we're going to start with a couple cards here. One from the Hidden Truth and then a second one from the In the Shadows deck. Then we're going to draw some cards from the Rider Waite deck just to get uh, an overall feel for the month for you, okay? And like always, Gemini, I say we don't take ourselves too seriously here, so let's just have a good time and uh, we'll figure out what's going on for you, okay? <laughs> All right, so Gemini, let's figure out what's going on for the month of August. Universe, please give me one card here for Gemini. What hidden truth do we need to know here? There we are. Wow. The strong message is, I love you. Okay. So, there's someone here in your life, Gemini, that loves you. Or it could be you loving someone else. There's someone here. There's a person here that you care deeply for. Perhaps they're not able to tell you or you're not able to tell this person. Perhaps the feeling is only one-sided, but let's find out some more answers here for you. Universe, let's get another card here for Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know for the month of August? What does Gemini need to know for the month of August? Okay. Okay, so we have I don't need your approval. Okay. I don't need your approval. So. Seems to me that this person has some sort of beef with you. You may love this person very much. They may not need your approval at all. Maybe you've been involved in their life somehow, okay? Maybe too much. There's a feeling here of offending somebody or even being misunderstood here, okay? So let's figure out what we need to know for you here. All right, Gemini, I'm gonna shuffle the cards just a little bit more for you. Let's figure out what we need to know for Gemini, August. 2022 let's find out what is going on for you for the month of august okay universe please give me okay so your first card is the emperor all right there may be somebody here that you're dealing with someone more mature someone a little bit older someone very experienced and wise here okay this may be someone who you're attracted to. This may be someone who uh, you find very sexy, okay? They possess a lot of confidence here. All right, we have the tower next for you. So, Gemini, there is a big change happening here for you for this month and ending, okay? This could be something that you weren't expecting. This could be a fight or a blow up. This could be uh, you separating for whatever reason. So if this is someone who you were seeing or if this is someone who you were uh, pursuing, perhaps things are going to break off for you for a while here for the month I'm seeing here. What else do we need to know here for... Gemini, please. But you do love this person very much. And I don't need your approval, Gemini. I don't want your control. Okay. This person has their life under control and you don't need to involve yourself in certain ways. Maybe you've offended them. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles for you. All right. Some of you may find that this person, okay, refused an offer. 
You may have wanted an offer here, or you may want to make an offer with this person. You may find that you may want to ask this person out again. You may want to ask them to do something with you, okay? There may be a gift here that you may want to give this person, an apology even for some of you. There's definitely something coming in where you want to make things right and offer up something here, okay? So next we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, see, this is someone who's sad, someone, someone who's upset here. Could be you, could be your person. But I'm seeing it more as them here being mad at you about something. You've either done something to them or you've miscommunicated or you're misunderstood here. Something ended for the two of you and you want to make an apology and they're not having it right now and they're still upset, okay? And it is an emotional time for you for this month, okay? All right, Gemini, let's find out more about what is going on here between you and this person. Tell me more about Gemini and their love life for the month of August, please. What else is coming up for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? Oh, too many cards. <laughs> what else does Gemini need to know, universe? Please give me a clear message here. What else does Gemini need to know? We have the Two of Swords in reverse. So there has to be a decision here. Perhaps you aren't able to decide here whether or not to let this person go now. You still love them very much and it's very hard for you. And it's been bothering you and you will probably have to make a decision some, at some point here. But the struggle is real. You will be struggling with this. You may not be able to make a choice after all. You may be waiting for something that may never happen, okay? Some of you may not even be given a choice to fix things. Okay, we have the moon in reverse. So for a lot of you here, there seems to be something that's not true, something that wasn't communicated properly. Someone may be hiding something, a secret here. Someone may be keeping some information from someone. I'm getting here that this choice or decision is based on some sort of information or misinformation. Something you want to know, but they were not telling you the truth. Something they're leaving out. Okay, next we have the Eight of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, Gemini, you're going to be trying to work towards something. I'm seeing you're either going to be focusing on your work here. Others will be focusing on trying to make a decision here, trying to deal with the situation, trying to deal with all the lies here, with all the misinformation, okay? The King of Cups is next. So I do see that there's some sort of uh, reconciliation here with the King of Cups. A lot of you will be finding that you will be uh, emotionally more in a more stable place here after you've put some time into maybe distracting yourself uh, with work or with some sort of activity here, okay? For others, I'm getting for you, Gemini, that you will be making up with this person for some of you and for others there could be a new individual coming in here with the king of cups okay someone who is a bit more emotionally stable someone who uh you're going to be starting something new with and this is a quality person here so perhaps that could be the choice that you'll be making here whether you stay with an individual here that you do love that things have ended really uh, badly for you okay and for others you may be deciding to just let them go and move on with a new person. And for others, you may be wanting to go back to your old person, okay? Let's find out more about this King of Pentacles individual here. Universe, let's get some more info about this person here, okay? What else do we need to know for Gemini, please? What else do we need to know for Gemini? universe let's get a clear message let me find out more about this king of cups okay we have the five of swords in reverse yeah so 
This person may be helping you through something, some issues here. They may be there for you in certain ways, okay? Um, you may end up uh, seeing this person after you've made amends with someone else. Almost like healing, okay? Reconciliation here. Coming back to someone. Someone may be coming back to you. This could be someone else that's from your past here. Let's find out more about this Eight of Pentacles for you. What is, what are you distracting yourself with? Is it just work? Is it a new project? Is it another person that you're working on here? What is this Eight of Pentacles, please? Universe, please give me a message for the Eight of Pentacles. That's popping up for me. It's Two of Wands, okay? So Two of Wands clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. This is something that you've been wanting to do for a while now. So for some of you it could be a project here and uh, that you've been planning. So you've been busy doing that and distracting yourself with that. Okay. This is something that you've been looking forward to and that you're going to make happen here. And uh, for a lot of you, if it is pursuing a person here, okay, you are finally moving forward and moving away from a past love here or an individual here that was no longer serving you even though you love them dearly okay but you know the apology was not accepted and a lot of you felt like you weren't able to move on but apart from everything else uh, you finally distracted yourself and will find yourself some meaning here and some guidance to focus on a new person here okay so i have one more card here we're going to do the moon card here and guess what we have the knight of swords in reverse so with this secret here it's something that's been coming around very slowly for some of you this has been something that you've been picky or nitpicking about i'm seeing here that a lot of you have had doubts about a certain situation or information about your person here and these uh, end up becoming true and they were really negative things okay for others okay you may be acting poorly and toxic with each other and there's just no more room to move here for some of you with your person okay and so um, whether you choose to focus on this old person or with the new person that's completely your choice I'm gonna get one last card at the bottom of the deck for your advice and look we have the high priestess here for you so your advice here with the high priestess is you need to pay more attention to the little details here when it comes to deciding what's best for you I know a lot of you sometimes don't focus too much and you're more involved with the heart here and with more analytical here for you, Gemini. But I'm getting that you have to have a little bit of faith here and you have to take a little bit of risk. And there's certain clues and signs that will help guide you along your way. So please do pay attention to those things. And if that brings in new love for you, all the better. And if that heals and is, um, makes you able to handle a past love here or decide on whether or not to let them go, that's entirely up to you, but you know best what you need, okay? So listen to your gut in this situation. Do pay attention to the signs here and all the little things, okay? This is going to be very important for you. All right, so Gemini, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Remember, if this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, notifications for any new updates. I'll be back again soon with a new video, Gemini. Thanks for watching with me tonight, and bye for now.